Hi guys, welcome to today's Africa Science Week event. So I'm here to talk about today's women's coding competitions. So their challenge is they've been given a data set and they are supposed to extract insights from that data set uh, and also create a predictive model. No, it's tricky. <laughs> You'll be knowing what you want to achieve. Yes. But you know, code will always be code. Some sense in the madness in terms of how the data is structured. Can you like project and come up with an algorithm to try to predict, to say if, if uh, the, the parameters change slightly, this is how the data will be here. So we had so much fun today. I was coding, everyone was coding. It was a coding competition that it constituted of eight amazing smart women. You know what? We need to embrace innovation. As um, like from a biosciences and biotechnology background, we need to embrace and accept the fourth um, industrial revolution that is taking place. We need to digitalize our practices, our researches. We need to run with what is happening in the digitalization process. What I liked about it is to show other students that it can be done. We are not as advanced in sciences and technologies as we should as Zimbabwe. We are standing on the frontiers of a new generation that is going to take us into a more scientifically mechanized Zimbabwe. And Science Week is a great opportunity for that. Our winner, <laughs> more blessing. Please come. Hi, more blessing. Congratulations! Yeah, tell us about the experience. Oh, all right. I think it was challenging. It was challenging enough. I think it was okay. Uh, the thing about me is I really enjoy challenging stuff. Okay. The sky is not the limit, but you yourself, you can limit yourself. Girls, what men can do, we can do better. Powerful message there. Thank you, Bridget.